Okay, here I am. I'm working on the uh, teardown setup of my Yishin Falcon 250. And so I took the top plate off. Here's the top plate. So this was on here, you know, like this. Um, eight screws. Top plate comes off. Unplug the camera from the, uh, from the power distribution board. And then set that aside. And uh, once the top plate is off, the side plates, there's nothing holding these on except for little carbon fiber tabs. So the, the side plates come off. Okay, so there's your two side plates. And then that gives you wide open access to, to the electronics. This is the flight controller, the CC3D. And uh, I've already pre-disconnected all the cabling. So uh, originally this was plugged into this port here and it was looped and wrapped around underneath the flight control board just for packaging. So I've disconnected it because I plan on using PPM, I think, whatever is the one cable method. And it uh, looks like I'm going to have to try and get a bunch of these little cables off of here. So there's only one of these that has three pins in it. Almost all of them are just the singles that I don't want to use. And I want just this one. So this one will be my three pin PPM. Um, you know, power, ground, and signal. And the rest of these, I don't even want to have them inside. My plan was get rid of all the other cables so that it's very clean. One cable, which will give me more room to plug into the USB port because there's the USB port right there underneath the two white connectors. There's a mini USB. And the way that this electronics is set up right now, it's very, very hard to get at. So going to continue working on this and come back with an update later on. Okay, here's a bit of an update. So I, uh, I did get the receiver bound up to my radio um, using the special bind plug procedure and I have it set up for PPM now. So I'm only using one wire. I stripped out all the other wires coming out of this connector here. And uh, something I did have to do was this white wire was originally in pin 6 and uh, I had to move it over to pin 8 so that for the firmware software that I'm using for the PPM you have to have your uh, power ground and then the control signal is on pin 8. So this board originally came with OpenPilot running a firmware uh, 1502 I believe and uh, yeah it was originally running firmware 1502 and uh, I forgot to record that and First of all, this is LibrePilot. I could not find a download or a working mirror for OpenPilot. So I did have to jump straight to Libra. And um, that was fine. It, it detected my control board right away. And it told me that I was already on bootloader version 4. And I did some Googling and it said that if your flight controller comes with bootloader 4, you're okay to just flash upgrade it straight away. So I hit upgrade up at the top. I did not erase any settings. So I took screenshots of all the settings, but I didn't erase them. And uh, I just hit upgrade. Now I'm running uh, 1509. And the other change that I've made because I wanted to use the PPM was, oh, and this shows you that, so it is, it is working, right? I'm moving the quadcopter around. So this is with the factory China calibration. I haven't changed any calibration stuff. Um, this is just how it is. And uh, even the little graphic down at the bottom is pretty darn accurate to what this frame is. Uh, so what I did change, not in system, in configuration. Originally this was on uh, uh, PP, PWM no one shot and I changed it to the PPM pin 8 one shot. That's the only one, well I guess the other one's outputs, but I want PPM with one shot. So that's the one change I made and I saved that change. And uh, under arming settings it was set to always disable, always disarmed. So that means that I could never arm it. So I changed it to uh, yaw right arm by down throttling yaw right. So now I was going to start doing the transmitter setup and uh, just start calibrating my transmitter. Okay, so I've now connected my battery and the motors are doing this weird pulsy thing, but 
I don't know, it's probably because I haven't calibrated anything properly yet. I'm going to go back and start from the beginning. So I'm going to go back, back again. Okay, I'm going to start out on mode 2. Next, move throttle stick. So my transmitter's here. I'm just reaching over and uh, move throttle stick up and then down. Move the roll stick. Move the pitch stick. Move the yaw stick. Toggle the flight mode switch. Uh, this is my flight mode switch. recognizing my flight mode switch so what's up with that well it's showing me a switch on this side so I guess I'll flick it but I don't want that to be my flight mode switch oh, I don't know this is so confusing anyway I'll go play around with it some more okay too many weird things were happening with trying to do the calibration and the motors kept beeping and moving and the control sticks on the radio kept moving all around so I'm doing the full wizard setup from scratch erase all settings upgrade firmware erasing the board starting from scratch the board is rebooted and now it's asking me what type of control signal I want to use and I plan on using the PPM 1 1 cable all channels that's what i want controller is rebooting now it's asking me what type of uh, vehicle i want i want a multi rotor x quadcopter and what type of output signal I want on the speed controls. Um, I want to use one shot. I don't know how to explain one shot, but it is the, it allows some, it's a faster protocol, it runs better, it has some enhanced features, so I'm gonna try one shot. Now complete, all information required for basic flight controller vehicle has been selected. right now you'll be told when to connect your battery okay connection diagram I've already done this change so originally the white wires and pin 6 I changed it to pin 8 on, on my board this blue wire is white okay now this is where I need to calculate level so I'm going to have to go and get a level and make sure I'm it, that the board is completely perfectly level and not moving and then I'll hit the calculate button.